Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope was called the Gamma Ray Large Area Telescope. Its name was changed in August 2008 in honor of Enrico Fermi, a pioneer in high energy physics. In 1949, he suggested that cosmic rays may come from supernovas. The Fermi telescope found evidence confirming this theory by observing two supernova remnants in the Milky Way. It was launched on June 11, 2008 aboard a Delta II 7920H rocket. After five years of operations, Fermi's mission was extended to study the central portion of the Milky Way to look for pulsars or dark matter, a substance that doesn't emit or absorb any visible light. Gamma rays are a form of light that has the shortest wavelength and the highest energy of any wave in the electromagnetic spectrum. They are invisible to the human eye and have so much energy that they could harm people on Earth. The atmosphere absorbs gamma rays protecting life on Earth. But because gamma rays cannot penetrate the Earth's atmosphere, scientists use satellites or telescopes to study them. Its main instrument is the Large Area Telescope, or LAT. It's used to perform all sky surveys and study the pulsars in dark matter. It sees 20% of the sky at any given moment and covers the entire sky every three hours. It detects gamma ray bursts, the most powerful explosions in the universe, from distant galaxies or supernovas, and is 30 times more sensitive than any previous gamma ray instrument flown into space. Its gamma ray burst monitor, or GBM, contains 14 detectors and are expected to pick up about 200 gamma ray bursts per year. Its mission is to study gamma ray bursts to understand how the laws of physics work in extreme environments found in the distant universe, younger, more energetic pulsars in the Milky Way to broaden our understanding of the stars, the Milky Way to help improve theoretical models of our own galaxy, black holes, how the sun produces gamma rays and solar flares, and many more. This is the remnant of the Vela supernova that exploded approximately 11,000 to 12,300 years ago and in April 2013, Fermi detected GRB 130-427A, a gamma ray with over 94 billion electron volts, one of the highest energy outputs ever recorded. In November 2010, gamma ray and X-ray bubbles were detected around the Milky Way. They are now called Fermi bubbles and extend above and below the center of the galaxy. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.